In response to the threat of the Delta COVID variant, the Central Epidemic Command Center announced that travelers arriving from seven high-risk countries, including India, the UK and Brazil, are now required to quarantine in centralized quarantine centers. Experts say vaccine coverage must reach at least 20 percent of the total population in order to contain this highly transmissible variant. They also say there should be a long enough interval between the first and second dose of a vaccine in order to get maximum protection. With the specter of the Delta variant looming, the CECC announced that starting Sunday, travelers arriving from seven countries, including India, the UK and Brazil, will be required to quarantine in centralized quarantine centers. They must also get a PCR test at the end of their quarantine period with a negative result before being let out. Looking back over the past year's COVID containment efforts, we've been able to prevent the virus from crossing the border. So testing upon arrival is of lower efficiency. In contrast, if testing is done after the 14-day quarantine period, then we would be able to catch the infections, as in some cases, the incubation period coincides with home quarantine, so it's more efficient to do testing when symptoms appear. The Delta variant has mutations in the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, which is where the virus attaches to the host cell. This is the reason for the Delta variant's increased infectivity. According to Public Health England, the Delta variant is about 60 percent more transmissible than previous strains, and the rate of hospitalization for patients with the Delta variant is two times higher than patients infected with the other strains. The locations where the Delta variant's mutations lie can bind to patients' cells, which is why its transmissibility is higher. Typical symptoms such as loss of taste or smell are actually less common in patients infected with the Delta variant. According to the findings from the Zoe COVID symptom study in the UK, the Delta variant provokes symptoms similar to those of the flu or a bad cold, such as headache, sore throat, sneezing, and runny nose, and they're more difficult to distinguish between the different infections. Experts feel that one single vaccine dose is insufficient against the Delta variant. What countries around the world have observed is that once vaccine coverage reaches 20 to 30 percent, we'll be able to clearly see a drop in infection numbers. Well, that's also because of additional containment measures. If the interval between the two vaccine doses is too short, then the vaccine will be less effective. A hospital director in Kaohsiung also reminds the public that receiving both doses is of utmost importance. He also advises not to be too picky with vaccine brands and urges the public to get vaccinated at their earliest convenience. For better protection, people should stick to official guidelines on top of vaccination.